These fragments I have shored against my ruin. Episode 8 of Constellation begins with a clip of Joe in the ISS while her voiceover tells Alice that she'll always be with her. We then see Joe being taken to a facility overlooked by Irina. She's put under and given electric shocks. Meanwhile, Bud grabs the tapes and cassette player and listens to a recording of himself saying that he thought his co-astronauts were dead, but they're now alive. Angrily, he breaks the cowl with an axe. Magnus and Alice come home and Alice tries to explain everything to Magnus. He doesn't believe her, though. While Joe is unconscious, the women conduct an ultrasound. One of them tells Irina the image is corrupted. Elsewhere, Henry is taken to the police for the crime of shooting Paul. Henry insists that he is different from Bud, but the police don't believe him. Back in the first universe, Bud tells Frederick that Joe destroyed the cow. Frederick is surprised that he's not more concerned about it. Joe wakes up and finds that she's locked inside her room. A woman opens the door but leaves without saying anything. Later, Joe tries explaining about her real daughter to Irina. Irina then breaks the news, Joe is four weeks pregnant. When Joe grabs Irina's hand, she suddenly sees the dead cosmonaut instead. Joe realizes that it's her and mentions a capsule on fire, which unnerves Irina and makes her rush away. Irina calls Henry, unaware that he's now Bud. Henry undergoes a polygraph test and tells the whole truth. Joe then gets an unexpected visit from Ilya. She's happy, but she soon realizes he doesn't believe her either. He's taking over for Irina. When he doesn't believe her, Joe tells him to leave, but he slips her a pair of keys as he does so. Meanwhile, the Magnus in both worlds talk to a therapist about what they've been going through. Bud arrives at a restaurant to meet Irina. He reveals his real identity to Irina and even mentions how her counterpart died in space. Irina says they both went through an accident, but Bud accuses her of being in denial. Joe uses the keys to get out of her room. But her curiosity pushes her to check on the other patient in the facility. She opens the viewing hole on the door and sees two identical old men staring back at her. Shocked, she rushes back to her own room and gets into bed. Back home, Alice speaks with Wendy who admits to thinking that her father is still alive. In the other universe, the two girls talk about Paul being in the hospital. Later, Alice tells Magnus that she has understood that Joe's stories are all make-believe. He agrees to let her go see Joe. He then gives her a box of things found at the cabin, which includes the cassette player. In the other universe, Paul packs up the house as he and Alice prepare to move out. This Alice also takes the cassette player out. She talks to the other Alice and asks to speak with her mother. The other Alice can't bring herself to respond, and, so, Alice leaves the house with Magnus. While they walk away, Alice tells her father that she's going to let the other Alice keep her mother. At the police station, Henry's polygraph test is positive. But while Henry expects his DNA to be different from Bud's, it turns out to be exactly the same. He is then charged with the murder of Ian Rogers and attempted murder of Paul. In the other universe, Bud watches Ian conduct a Jack the Ripper tour. After it ends, Bud gives him a bunch of flowers, tells him to live his best life, and then leaves. At the facility, Irina visits Joe. Joe asks her if going up in space is what results in there being two of her and two of Irina. But Irina counsels her to let these thoughts go as they can't be undone. Later, Alice is given the chance to meet Joe. She tells Joe that the other Alice feels okay about Joe being here with her. They then agree that Alice needs a mom and Joe needs an Alice and they can be that for each other. Joe then speaks with Magnus and says she's going to start taking the pills. They then consider whether they should have the new baby. Irina is looking at the ultrasound and sees something odd. She then types up an email about how space travel sends people mad. She ends with asking people to report their own anomalous experiences to her. Meanwhile, Paul wakes up in a hospital. While Magnus and Alice prepare to go home, 
Joe tells Magnus that she may not seem like his Joe, but she loves him. As they talk, Irina sits by Alice and introduces herself. She says her friends call her Valia. Alice then asks Joe if she's from there and if Magnus is from here, then where will the baby be from? We then hear a clip of Joe's phone call to Alice from the ISS simultaneously. We see the other Joe's body floating in the ISS. Part of her face is destroyed, but all of a sudden, she catches hold of a floating iPad and looks into the camera at the end of Constellation Episode 8. The Episode Review Unfortunately, Constellation Episode 8 is a slow and lackluster episode that does not offer much in the way of conclusion. As an individual episode, it does a good job of weaving more mystery into the story, using moments of tension in the health facility to keep things engaging. However, this episode is nowhere near what a season finale should be and feels more like a mid-season episode. The story keeps its focus on Joe and her experiences without looking at the bigger picture. We don't know any more about the two universes than we first did. We don't know what triggers the exchange events. We don't know what the mysterious presence on the ISS was. Instead, the story has indulged itself in sinister incidents and vague signs, prolonging the mystery but not explaining any of it. In the end, the episode resorts to using a sharp plot twist in the last few seconds as a cliffhanger to, no doubt, push forward a second season.